happens and it I have that like Christmas morning feel like I always get like giddy like like a kid on Christmas morning I'm so excited okay so I'm going to uh, the Indianapolis Bends today um, I have not been there in so long I actually haven't been to the Bends the Bends in months so I recently moved from Ohio to Indiana and I have been going to the Dayton Bends for um, you know years now and the last time I went to the Indianapolis Bends I wasn't even a reseller like I just went for fun didn't even cross my mind to resell things um, I mean I think this was back like before I think before Poshmark was even a thing I mean eBay was definitely around but like it never crossed my mind that I would ever do that so I'm already running late I wanted to get there like before they even opened uh, right now it says I'm gonna get there at like 10 minutes after open but it's okay it's it's fine just a few minutes it's gonna be fine I just really wanted to be there like right at open I am actually 30 weeks pregnant today and I was thinking um, I really need to go because I don't know if I really want to go it, it's about an hour and a half away from uh, where I live so I don't know if I really want to go when I'm like after like 34 weeks like just in case you know I don't want to be that far away from like the hospital I'm delivering at you never know um, and my feet get swollen <laughs> fast and so I just I don't know how much longer you know I'm gonna want to be going so I was like I need to go now so I'm gonna try to make this an all-day thing we will see how long my feet make it and I think you guys can probably see in the background it it probably looks a little foggy no that's the smoke from the Canadian fires it's kind of wild definitely looks like fog I can't wait to get there I hope we find some good deals today and also I should be so tired right now I mean I am tired but I'm like running on adrenaline right now because I know I'm going to the fence. but last night I did a live and it was the best live I've ever done it was a sold out live I sold everything um, in my tray um, on Poshmark and it was fantastic I did have a, mostly four dollar starts there were a few things I started a little bit higher but um, Oh my gosh, it was wild. I literally was live for, it was at least five and a half hours, maybe six hours. And yeah, I didn't go to bed till between 12.30 and one and then could not fall asleep. So being full-time Poshmark now has really just taken over my life <laughs> and I love it. All right, we'll be there in about an hour. My goodness wow so uh, I am so tired so it is now 3 13 so I was there six hours and I could go, I could stay for longer if my feet didn't hurt so bad they're swollen and yeah pregnancy life but um, yeah if it wasn't for my feet I don't know and I'm very tired because I didn't get much sleep at all last night so if it wasn't for those two things, I could keep going. I want to keep going, but I'm just so tired and I have an hour and a half drive. So I was like, I better just leave. But yeah, it's so different here. So they, and, and I've been, I've been here before. I think that they actually changed the location of this one. Like it was, it, it I don't think it was in this exact building, but it was nearby. Um, but the rotations are so weird. Like in Dayton, they, there's really no, um, I don't know, maybe they have a system, but it seems like they're not on like a schedule with rotating the bins. And sometimes they rotate them a lot, sometimes they don't. With this one, they literally rotate them every hour on the hour. 
and everyone has to get out of the way. You have to stand along the wall behind a line and like the whole floor has to be cleared and everyone stands along the wall. And in Dayton, they would do like one row. They would just do like one row of rotations and I mean, you get out of their way, but the whole entire floor doesn't have to be clear. Um, they would do like sections at a time. And they, I mean, the rotations are so fast, which is great because new stuff is coming out, but like I didn't even have time to get through half of what I wanted to get through. It's crazy, so I don't I don't know if it's good or bad. I mean, fast rotations are great, but I was just shocked. There's two things that I really missed about the indie outlets. One, they have a, um, a rewards card, and I forgot all about it. Goodwill in Indiana, I don't know where else, but they have a, a rewards card. And I don't know what the rewards are, but you get like 10% off here and there, whatever. Um, in Ohio, I remember the first time that I, I asked if they take my rewards card and they said, what? We don't do rewards cards. It's like, it's Goodwill. I was like, okay, I swear they do in Indiana. They said they were too busy to like set me up with a new account, but the guy still gave me 10% off with my first trip. I did take two trips in there. Um, I stopped to take a break for lunch. So I spent... Well, we'll go over totals later, but I spent like a, a little over 100 the first time and then 30 something the second. And then the other thing that I love, love, is they weigh everything together. They just weigh it all. And it was, I believe it was $1.79 a pound. And you, I mean, it's so much easier. You don't, you don't have to sit there and sort everything out yourself because you have to, you know, I'm used to like separating shoes and books and whatever. Um, and it's, it makes checkout faster. You just wheel your cart on the scale and boom, you're done. It's great. And you don't have to pay more for like purses. In Ohio, you have to pay like $2 for a handbag. Here, they just weigh it with your clothes. So it's so much cheaper. Of course, there was a little bit of drama as always. <laughs> People make me so mad and it's so bad. I wish like if I got angry about something, I could just like easily calm down, no problem. But I can't, I just, Oh, I just get so mad. I mean, there there were, you know, plenty of people that push past you and try to grab things in front of you, whatever. It's annoying, but you get used to it. Um, but there were several times that people would push me, either with their bodies or their cart, into the bin. Like, push my belly into the bin. And it was not comfortable. And you can't just assume, like, just because you can't see the front of somebody, you can't assume that they have more room and you're just going to push in there and assume that they can move forward. There was one point where a lady was pushing me and it was like hurting my belly. And I was like, please don't squish my baby. <laughs> and I just walked away. And then I grabbed a chair, my pregnant butt, hauled a chair over to, cause it was on the other like side of the store, hauled it over to my cart so that I could sit down. There's plenty of other people that have chairs that sit down. It's totally normal. Um, and I really needed to do that because I'm my feet are swelling and they hurt and I'm pregnant and this girl just sat down in the chair and I was watching her and I was like oh no she's gonna stay there and then it was time for the rotations so we all go over to the carts and she just I thought she'd get up because she saw that my cart was touching the chair and she didn't get up all three of her friends so there's four of them three of her friends gather around they're touching my cart like they're so close and they could, I mean, I'm assuming they could tell that I was pregnant and no one like bothered to like, oh, is this your chair? Like, this is probably your chair because it's right here with your cart. They just all stayed there, gathered around right next to my cart and I had my cup. Never take a cup with a straw to the bins. I've never had a problem before, um, but I had this in my cart and the girl is like going through her clothes and she puts clothes on top. It's, it's like on top of my cart and on top of my straw and I was like oh this is on my straw and I take off the clothes and she they were like oh sorry I'm like okay I'll just go like rinse this off so I just rinse it off in the bathroom and but then it's like you're still you're touching my cart still you're like this is my chair now you touched my str I don't know. They just didn't budge. 
the whole time of the rotate they were doing the rotations which takes like 10 minutes am i being dramatic <laughs> sorry oh one con though of this outlet at least the bins are higher they're higher up raised up higher than the ones in dayton and it just made well for one my belly hits it so in dayton like my belly I'm assuming I, I wasn't this big when I went to Dayton, but I think my they're low enough where my belly would go over it and it, it makes it easier to dig into. So this is higher up and they pile the clothes so high, which is like great, but makes it kind of tough to sort at the same time. So it's like so high up and it makes your arms hurt more because you have to hold it up higher and like it's harder to reach, especially with the belly, like across, I don't know. Just minor things, but it was a good day. I had a great time. I really did. I'm just complaining. <laughs> All right, I'm exhausted. I'm gonna go home, hour and a half drive, and I can't wait to show you guys the haul. All right, time for the haul you guys get a real great view of baby boy today. <laughs> so he is right there. <laughs> Alrighty, so, so excited. <laughs> In total, I got 111 items, probably my record. I'm pretty sure that's my record. Um, I have a giant pile of clothes here. I love it, I'm, I'm so excited. Okay, so 111 items. I got two pairs of shoes, one picture frame, just for myself, one chair, for myself um, so it's like a lounge chair um, I'll put a picture up of that um, it's like an out yeah outdoor lounge chair and then a baby carrier um, where you wear the baby on front of you um, and then the rest were clothes so with my two trips because I took a trip in before lunch and then after lunch my two trips total, I spent $138.01, and that came out to $1.24 per item, and I love that I don't have to divide the price of shoes and clothes and books and different items. I love that Indiana just piles it all together, you just weigh it all, and it's all $1.79 a pound. Um, the guy did give me a 10% discount on my first order the first time I was in there. I got somebody else the second time. But yeah, it saved me $10.66. So thank you to Dana. Um, I don't think his name was Dana. Well, it says his name was Dana. I don't know. So $1.24 an item. That's amazing. Considering they weighed in like the chair that I got. I mean, the other items I got that weren't closed were pretty light, but the chair, I mean, it wasn't a real heavy chair, but I paid $1.24 for like an outdoor lounge chair. That's amazing. I hope the lighting isn't too terrible. I'm trying to find different places in the new house to film we're working on it, but um, and my chair's a little squeaky, sorry. All right, so a giant pile of things. I can't wait to show you. And this is in no particular order at all. Okay, I found several maternity things and I haven't tried any of this on yet. I do plan on keeping uh, some of it. <laughs> I, I won't say quite a bit, but some of it. Um, so we'll see how these maternity things work. Um, but I found like a whole like half bin of maternity stuff. So I was in heaven. Um, okay, so these are Sonoma. Um, so from Kohl's, these are jegging, uh, size 14 maternity jeggings. And they have that full panel here. So yeah, you can never have enough maternity clothes. I definitely thought that I had enough and I don't. So hopefully this fit, if not, I'm sure I will sell them no problem. All right, this is the North Face. This is a black uh, half zip, quarter zip. Oh, this needs a lint roll. Half zip um, sweatshirt and black, gray. Not sure if it's a men's or a, oh, actually I do. It's a men's, it's a men's large. So this shoe could actually probably fit me. I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. All right, I don't know this brand. This is um, Amor Vert, Amor Vert, um, size medium. I don't know if this is, um, I mean, it's made in the US. That could be a good sign. Um, and it's very soft, feels like high quality material. Um, I just thought it was cute. So it's like a, a wrap style um, little cardigan. 
and it's stretchy. It's the most pretty green color. Actually, it matches the wall almost. No, almost. <laughs> Let me check the material. 94% modal and 6% spandex. So yeah, let me know if you guys know this brand, um, but it just seems really nice. Might try to keep it. All right, this is something I just picked up for my husband, um, Alex Cannon. Um, it says Rowayton, Connecticut, somewhere in Connecticut. Um, so this is a size large, 100% cotton, but it's just a nice like black, uh, like dressier shirt and he's been looking for more um, dress shirts for his new job. This is J. Jill, this is size small and it is a multicolored dress with ditzy floral print, the little like smaller patterned floral print. Looks like it's in great condition, three quarter sleeve. I think this is like knee length, maybe midi length. I try not to pass up J. Jill at Ben's. Oh, this chair's awful, sorry. Literally right now, I'm. <laughs> this is uh, an office my husband and I share, and my desk is a folding table, and my ch desk chair is a one of the folding table chairs. So I'm working on finding a new desk and chair, so. Okay, maybe this doesn't have a brand at all. All right, I can't find a brand on this, but this is um, just like a little, uh, navy blue robe with lace and it does have a tie and i just thought this would be cute to wear maybe to the hospital um like when i give birth because um it'd be good to like you know for breastfeeding and you know yeah when people are coming in and out and just quickly cover up i don't know all right these are american eagle super stretch high rise artist flare um in a size eight regular so a dark wash denim jean and they are flared these did have a little bit of wear um on the bottom in the back but i mean other than that they're in pretty great condition so i thought i'd go for it okay i haven't heard of this brand susan graver um but this is a size 1x and they looked like they were in great condition and I love picking up plus sizes because I just feel like I sell plus sizes in my closet so fast and I can never like keep enough in my closet. So they're just like some uh, lounge pants, black and white. Okay, also I've never heard of this brand. Um, this is Toka, uh, Toka for, well, I don't know what that says, but you could read it, Toka. <laughs> um, so this is a plus size dress, size 1X, <clears throat> and it's like a maroon, a uh, very pretty maroon color. And yeah, just, it's like a thicker material, seems like good quality, and we'll see how it does, but I don't think I even looked up, so sorry about this chair, I don't even think I looked up that brand in the bins, I just, <clears throat> the quality seemed pretty good, so. We went with it. Okay, this is Altered State. Um, these are size medium flared jeans. Um, these are pull-on jeans, so they're um, elastic waist. There is one flaw to these, but I thought it was so small that it would be fine. So on the back pocket, it has, I don't know if you can see this, but right here, is a little bit of what it, it looks like it's paint maybe just a little bit so it's not real noticeable they should do well all right this is a size large this is just something i picked up for myself it's an indiana hoodie uh it's my size and i didn't think about it until i was washing it but the colors of it it's like white and yellow up here the colors of it are like indiana pacers colors which i'm not like an Indiana Pacers fan, not like a sports fan really, um, but it's okay. Just thought I'd represent, but I don't see anything Pacers like on it anywhere. Okay, this is bodily, bodily, size medium. Uh, this is a uh, breastfeeding bra, a little blue bra, and it has like, if anyone cares, <laughs> it's 
somehow. How does this work? I'm gonna be learning so many things. Oh, there we go. Okay, so it has like a snap. It's really hard to see this, but it has a snap. You take that off and then you can breastfeed anyway. You don't care. All right, this is Madewell, so small, and it's a plaid cropped three quarter sleeve, maybe full sleeve, uh, three quarter sleeve, I think. Um, little top, black and white. Looks like it's in great condition. All right, more J. Jill. This is Love Linen, size medium petite. I'm assuming it's 100% linen, but let's check. Yes, 100% linen, we love that. So it's a navy blue button down top. Here's the back. All right, this is Mondetta, and um, these are size extra large sweatpants. And I have sold one thing by this brand, and it took a really long time to sell, to be honest. Um, so I don't think it's like real well known, but I thought these might fit me and I might keep them. But they seem really comfy. Okay, this is just Shein. I cannot believe I picked up Shein, but it's Shein Curve and it's a size 3X dress. And it's just really cute, summery, and it's a size 3X. And I feel like I just, I need more plus sizes in my closet because they, they sell so fast. Um, so this might be something that I sell in a live show, but it's so cute. All right, this is Worthington. It's a size size large tall and if you can see that print there but it's like a floral print like a peach pink flowy little top and I hope this fits me because I want it <laughs> okay these are Betsy Johnson performance leggings size small and it's a cheetah print um, with like blue in it blue gray black I didn't know that Betsy Johnson made leggings but I thought I'd give them a try. I don't know how they'll do. I think that they're capri lake, I believe. Yeah, it looks like it. So I don't know, we'll see. It's an experiment. Okay, this is something I picked up for myself. This is Universal Thread, so it's just Target, size extra, extra large. And it's just a green striped uh, top. And I just like green. Okay, this is Outpost Makers. I was not familiar with this brand. Here's the tag. Um, size medium, and I believe this is a men's um, little like flannel jacket. Um, but I, I feel like I checked comps when I was in the outlet and they did well, but I honestly don't remember. Um, so I, I believe this is a men's, but I think I'm going to list it as a women's and just make sure to say in the description that it is a men's but um i think this would definitely work as a women's and if i use the keyword shacket i think it will sell pretty fast because shackets do well okay this is westport size extra large it's a black and white dress long sleeve and it's so pretty it's got this like embroidered floral detailing all over and it is lined this is angie so this is like it's kind of like a one size fits all it's a, it says it's a size small to extra large um and it's a little like kimono cardigan floral very pretty very boho all right here's a maternity dress um it's a size medium it's motherhood maternity it is just a black uh, maxi dress and now I literally, assuming it fits, I will have three black maternity dresses. Um, I just got this one off of Poshmark because I got it like with a bundle. She had a bunch of other maternity stuff. Um, I didn't really need another black dress. Um, but they're all like different. They're all different lengths and, you know, different styles. So it's okay, right? <laughs> okay, I honestly know nothing about this brand. I've never heard of it. I don't even think I looked it up. This is Lincoln. Outfitters. Um, it's a size 14 denim jean and it looks like it's boot cut, straight leg, one of those. Um, but it just seems like really good quality. I don't recommend not checking comps, uh, you know, 
when you pick something up, but it, it just, it seems really nice. Like it, it honestly seems so high quality. I don't know, <laughs> maybe this is nothing, but the size is good. 14 is, is a good size to pick up. All right, another pair of maternity jeans. These are indigo blue. These are size 1X, so these <clears throat> most likely won't fit me. I don't know, it doesn't really look, I don't know, this doesn't look like a 1X to me. This, these might fit me, I don't know. Um, so if they don't fit me, we'll, we'll sell them. I don't think maternity clothes sell for like, I mean, like all that much. There are some brands that sell really well, but um, I don't know, <laughs> we'll see. All right, this is green envelope. This is a 1X and I don't think, I don't know. I, I want to say that brand's not all that fantastic. I don't remember. I don't remember. I know I've seen it before, um, but it's a 1X. It's a cute little top. So I thought I would sell this in a live. Whenever I have lives, um, live shows on Poshmark, uh, people are always requesting plus sizes. And I'm like, I'm so sorry. I have one thing, like this is all I have. I'm so sorry. So I'm trying to get more, more plus sizes because they're always in demand. Um, this is Pol, P-O-L-L. -L. Never heard of it. So many brands I've never heard of today. Um, so this is a size medium. Um, this is just something I thought I'd keep. <laughs> it hit the hits. Um, it's just like a little lightweight top, but I thought it was so cute. But the bad thing about like getting some of these things for myself is a lot of it's not going to fit me right now <laughs> because I'm 30 weeks pregnant. Um, so I'm probably going to, I'm going to have to hold on to a bunch of this until, you know, for a while, who knows how long it's going to take to get my body back. Hopefully not long, but okay. Where's the, here we go. Okay. This is altered state size medium. Um, this is like a, an oversized sweater. Um, it's maroon, very soft, uh, like a, it's like a short sleeve. Yeah. Short sleeve sweater, stretchy, soft, cute. All right. This is Torrid. This is a size three. So that's a three X. Um, I love picking up Torrid. It always sells just a cute flowy little top with some lace, um, at the top here. Okay. I debated for a while whether to pick this up or not, but I think we'll, I think we'll be fine. I don't know. So look at this dress. It's precious. Okay. This is an adorable green and white polka dotted dress. Um, long sleeve, precious. So up here though, the tag is gone, gone, gone. Um, so there are holes here, but it does not go through the, to the other side. Um, and then the tag on the bottom does say Draper James which is a good brand. Um, it's, I believe it's Reese Witherspoon's brand. And yeah, so Dra Draper James RSVP. And there is no size tag either. So is this a bad <laughs> pickup? I don't know. What would you guys have done? Would you have picked it up? It's just, there's nothing else wrong with it. It's so cute. And I'll, I'll probably sell it just in a live and just say like, I know this is like, I know it's plus size. And then I'll do measurements and say it's probably around, I think it's around like a 2X or 3X or something, but maybe it was a bad find. Okay, these are Torrid jeans. These are size 14 and these are skinny leg. Actually, I think these are um, capri length and then the cuff uh, rolls up down here. So I love toward this dress is precious. I wish that it fit me. Um, this is Ann Taylor, um, size six petite, and it's a floral little uh, v-neck dress. So cute. So in dresses like these, like this always makes me think of like Hawaii, like the floral pattern. So in the description, I always make sure to tag like of course, floral, flowers, um, vacation, Hawaii, beach, beachy, stuff like that. Cause, um, it just seems like something you'd see somebody wear on vacation and you never know when somebody is looking for 
they like dress like specifically wear for vacation and that's what they type in to search for so okay this is more maternity this is a glow or a glow a glow i think it's a glow um size large and it's a blue maxi dress and i so hope this will fit me it's got a tie here i'm sure it will but yeah excited to wear this and honestly if this looks good on me i might wear it to my baby shower which is not this weekend but next weekend so we're less than two weeks away kind of freaking out it's here at my house and we're gonna have so many people here and i'm really nervous i've never hosted a party with that many people and like i don't know just getting all of your friends and all of your family together and I don't know it's it's like becoming very real and i'm starting to stress out and i did not think that so many people would um like rsvp to cut well a lot of people didn't rsvp <laughs> so yeah if you have a party baby shower whatever um i'm sure you guys know this but don't only put like rsvp to this number put rsvp by this date because we're less than two weeks and hardly anyone rsvp so i had to reach out to everyone um love them all but yeah so but yeah there were a lot more people that said yes than no so I just didn't think that many people would you know come I just thought like half of the people would come but anyway it might be wild okay sorry just ranting so this is a beautiful dress I love this color obviously we didn't even paint these walls this color by the way these walls were green when we moved in and the room uh, the baby's room is, was green too, a different green, but we really do like green, but we just got lucky with uh, the, the paint in here. So, um, Ann Taylor size 12, which is my size, a beautiful dress. I don't know if this will fit me now, but we'll try it on. We might have to wait till after the baby. Okay, this is Stella and Dot, and I hadn't ever heard of that. This is size medium. Um, I don't remember how comps did on this, but I thought it was super cute. And um, <clears throat> it's got like a handkerchief uh, hem. Warm maternity jeans. These are a glow, a glow. Somebody help me out here. <laughs> a glow, I think. I'm going to say a glow. Um, these are size large cropped maternity jeans. Okay, this doesn't even have a brand at all it's a size large um it's just a tank top and it's pretty cute it's got this knot in the back crisscrosses i just thought this would be good for like breastfeeding um yeah i don't know <laughs> i don't know we'll see okay this is anna or a and a I'm, i think that's pronounced anna size large nothing spectacular uh, but just like a, a nice dressy black button down top. And I thought I would keep this. <laughs> okay, more J. Jill. This is a size large. And it's just a navy blue three quarter length sleeve blouse. And actually, that might be a long sleeve. Um, but it does have this really cute detailing on the sleeve here. Whew. I'm out of breath. <laughs> I'm kind of trying to hurry because I'm supposed to be going swimming at my friend's house today. All right, this is Old Navy large dress, really pretty blue, and I think this might work as a maternity dress, so I was going to try that. And same thing with this one. This is uh, Michelle by Camus. Michelle by something. Um, size large dress um i don't know this is kind of a shorter dress so this might not work but i was thinking it would work as um a maternity dress but maybe not we'll see all right this is victoria's secret sport and it is a pink and black sports bra racer back um it's it is just like a little bit dingy um no like stains or anything but you can just tell that it's you know been loved but i'm sure it will still sell just fine okay i did get several baby clothes i can't believe that i haven't found any yet 
Um, so we're gonna run into some baby clothes. Um, I'm sure you guys don't care too much about that, but uh, this just says size 12 months, little Carter's black pants. This is a size six to nine months, little uh, onesie thing, onesie with a little dinosaur hood. Look at that, so cute. All right, this is DSG, and I'm not sure about that brand, uh, but these are an extra large shorts. And I thought this would be great to wear this summer. It'll probably fit me. Uh, if not, we'll sell it. Okay, I'm keeping a lot of this all. As always, I <laughs> think, like, yeah, that literally always happens. Um, so this is Old Navy, size large. It's a gray tank. And I'm just trying to find more, like, form-fitting clothing that I can wear as maternity clothes because I, ne like, I never wear form-fitting clothing. I, I like looser fitting clothing. And then once I got pregnant, I was like, oh, everything looks like really sloppy on me right now. It's like, is she pregnant? Like, I don't know. So um, I'm trying to find more form-fitting where you can tell that I'm pregnant. So uh, this is a size 12 little onesie. It's got two little puppies on it. It says, daddy's best friend. <laughs> All right, this is Chico's size two, and Chico's uh, normally does pretty well. Uh, what the heck is this? Okay, I just found this like tie up here. I guess the back, like, oh yeah, that's cute. It like ties in the back here. Uh, but this is a green, blue, and white dress. I think it, it looks like it's midi length, but very flowy. Very summery. Um, I don't remember what a Chico size 2 is, so I'll have to look that up. All right, another little onesie. This is 18 months. It's just got cars and planes on it. Okay, this is Everlast, size medium. And I believe Everlast is like a sportsy brand. Um, and this is a blue and gray maxi dress. And I hear that athletic like type dresses are selling really well. So, I mean, maxi dresses normally do well anyway. So, um, hopefully we have some luck with that. I don't know how Everlane, or Everlane, <laughs> Everla Everlast, is that what it was? Yes, Everlast. I don't know how that brand like normally does, but um, I, I think it'll do okay. Okay, this is Michael Michael Kors, size extra large uh, teal blue dress. It's got a high, neck and it's sleeveless it's kind of hard to show this but um without a hanger but yeah um just a flowy little dress all right this is gap size small and black and blue striped um this is a maxi skirt and i haven't sold a whole lot of maxi skirts but Maxi dresses always do well, so I thought I'd pick that up. I think I have another one here too, somewhere. This is J. Jill, size medium, blue and white, um, like boho, short sleeve, no, three quarter sleeve, top. Love J. Jill. This chair is awful, I'm so sorry. This is Land's End, size small dress. So many dresses this all. It's a floral print, um, midi length dress, and stretchy. This pile is <laughs> crazy. This is Black House, Black House, White House, White House Black Market. <laughs> um, it's just a real simple, like purple, maroon, purple, purpley top. Um, it does have these like little silver buttons up here on the shoulders but it looks like it's in great condition and it's a pretty decent brand to sell. Oh goodness, there's so many things. I need some water. Here's my big boy today. He's getting so big. All right, more baby clothes. So these are three to six months, little camo pants. Try not to bore you with baby clothes for too long, but uh, this is a size six months, little striped onesie with little like fake shoes. 
this is just nine west it's a size medium but uh there we go um but it's it's a cute little dress shoot i thought this was a dress but that looks really short uh no that's that's gotta be a dress just a shorter dress long sleeve um <laughs> when i like saw it in the pile it kind of looked like mac and cheese to me <laughs> like this up close like like little mac and cheeses i don't know um it's like almost like leopard cheetah print but not uh but very cute ruffly flowy down here the mac and cheese dress i think i'm just hungry <laughs> um so these are just rbx which does okay um but these are size 3x leggings and i feel like i never find 3x excuse me leggings and they're so pretty like the prettiest colors they're just pretty length this is free people size medium here's the uh tag i'm sure everybody knows what free people looks like but it's a little metal like tag size medium um this is it's crazy how oversized their their clothes are because like this does not look like a medium um but it's a cute little button down top that ties in the back feels very soft Gosh, this is just one day. Okay, this is one day at the bins. I wish the bins were closer. I would be, oh my gosh, I'd be in trouble. Uh, this is just Terra Sky, and I think that that's sold at Walmart, but it's a 2X top, and I thought it was cute. It's ribbed and like a mustard yellow, very soft. I don't know, maybe it was a bad find, but I thought it'd be good for Live, so we'll see. Um, this is Olivia Ray, and I'm not, I don't know anything about that brand. Let me show you. Here's the tag Olivia Ray, size small, um, but it's a cute little summer dress, striped, and it might even fit me. I'm not a small, but it might be a good um, maternity dress, and it is stretchy, so we shall see. This is Beach Lunch Lounge. Here's the tag, size large. This is a dress, yes. A cute little dress, very summery boho. And here's the pattern up close. Okie dokie, this brand is okie dokie. Uh, size three months, uh, stripe onesie. So many booby clothes, it's Carter's. Okay, yes, here's the other maxi length skirt where's the tag okay this has no brand tag but made in the u.s um but it's a size large maxi skirt and stretchy i thought it might be a good maternity skirt i don't know banana republic linen this is a size large and it's a is that blue yeah navy blue and white striped top sleeveless top with a tie at the bottom i'm assuming we're 100 linen but let's check here yes 100 linen okay this is small pile left let's scoot it over um this is k k k k no i don't know c a k y e but it's a size large little um, nursing bra. This is Gap Maturity, size extra small. I don't think that I noticed it was extra small because maybe I wouldn't have got this. I don't, I don't know. Maybe it will fit me, but probably not. We'll, we'll see. These are American Eagle size, nope, 16. American Eagle size 16, um, distressed denim light wash shorts with a button up fly here sometimes it's kind of sketchy with getting like super distressed denim because like it's hard to tell sometimes like if this was supposed to be like this or if somebody ripped it more than it's supposed to be um so it's it's hard telling Okay, I feel like I never find cute overalls at the bins, but I found some. Um, they're just Old Navy. These are size medium, but they're pink uh, overall shorts. 
short all short alls. Is that what they're called? That light pink. So cute. My palette's falling over. This is all in motion, so it's just sold at Target. Size extra extra large um, sports bra, but it's in great condition. It's a really pretty blue color. Had to get it. Okay, this is Heart and Hips affordable luxury. I haven't heard of this, but size medium dress, light pink and white striped. And it looks like it's a maternity dress. It doesn't say so, but it's got like the uh, ruching over here. So we'll see if this works for me. Okay, this is just Sonoma sold at Target size medium, but this is 53% linen. So it's a multicolored striped dress with a v-neck sleeveless and yeah I try not to pass up linen if it's in good condition because linen sells really well okay more maternity I'm sorry guys um got maternity uh just a little light gray long sleeve top size medium this is Athleta this is the Elevate Squirt size small white We've got some pleating all around and the logo looks great in the back and it has a little zipper pocket back here. And I didn't see any stains or flaws. It's always sketchy picking up white. Okay, this is Ideology and I'm not sure how that brand does. I don't, I don't know, but it's a size large um, sweatshirt that is adorable. The prettiest color glue, it says, Good vibes, can you see that over here? It says good vibes only. And here's the back. We've got like a ladder V-neck back. And I'll probably keep this. I try to get rid of something out of my closet. Like when I put something in my closet for my hauls, I try to take something out. And I really like have to because I'm like out of hangers. Okay, these are Cat and Jack size 18 month little shorts for a baby boy. This is um, like a little burp cloth with little cars on it. I've been told that you can never have too many burp cloths, so I just have been trying to pick them up. This is Carter, size zero to three months, and she's got little elephants on it, just a little top. Okay, somebody corrected me, but several people corrected me in a live the other day of how to say this brand by Target. Um, but they told me it's Mossimo or Mossimo. I, well, they said it's Moss. And I always used to say, now I forget what I used to say. I think I used to say Mossimo. Mossimo. And they said it's Moss. So let me know how you think it's supposed to be pronounced. And, and it, if it is the Moss, is it Moss, Mossimo? or moss emo. Is there even a difference there? Moss emo or moss emo? I don't know what I'm saying, but somebody, somebody clearly type it out for me, please. Uh, but this is a size extra, extra large dress, um, and it's pretty simple, and it's got this pattern here, a an elastic waist, and longer. I just thought it was really cute. These are um, LC Warren Conrad size 12 skinny jeans and I know that's not like a fantastic brand but I just picked these up for myself because these are my size and um, I I have several things by that brand and I really like them. So. This is I guess like a swaddle blanket and it has little arrows on it like golden arrows looked like it was in great condition this is gap size extra small and it's a light tan cardigan just the buttons here and the back um this is a burp cloth i guess <laughs> i'm still learning things um with little orange elephants this is cute this is uh, 12 to 18 months uh, onesie and it's got little bears on it and they're so cute. This is Torrid size 3 which is a 3x 
top, very soft. Boho, it's like a light beige, tan color. Oh, my arms are getting tired. We were at a cornhole tournament two days ago and I did really well. Thought I was gonna win, <laughs> but uh, my right arm is like killing me. <laughs> okay, this is, um, this brand is tiny and I uh, have never picked it up before. I feel like I've heard of it, uh, but I, I looked it up and it's sold at Anthropology. So this is a size medium, little, uh, it's like a lightweight, like a cardigan button down shirt or almost like a cardigan. Looks like I've got some strings to trim there. Um, so soft. When I felt this material, I had to get it. Um, so it's 30% silk. Yeah, I, I felt this in the bins and I was like, I have to look this up. And sure enough, it's sold at Anthro. You just feel good quality. That's why I don't like to wear gloves at the bins. Um, I just take hand sanitizer and make sure to wash my hands really good after. Um, but I like to feel the quality because you can feel it. This is Calvin Klein Performance Quick Dry, size medium, um, long sleeve top. This is just for me. This is just a uh, mama short sleeve shirt. It's the brand. It's Isabel Maternity. It's an extra, extra large, but it should work. Might just be a little big. Okay, I always forget how to say this brand, but it's, um, the tag is missing on the top, but it's the Carrie Underwood brand, Carrie Underwood? I think Carrie Underwood brand, um, Kalia, I don't think it's Kalia, I think it's Kalia. I could be, I don't know, it doesn't sound right either way I say it. Um, there, I don't think there's a size at all on these. There's no size tag, dang it. Well, anyway, it's a blue and white striped tank racerback tank and I'm gonna guess that it's an extra large but I'll do measurements and try to figure it out. Alright another maxi dress. Um, this is Doobie Doo. Doobie Doo. I have not heard of this. Doobie Doo. Um, so it's a black wrap style maxi dress. It's ribbed, very soft. It's got this slit in the front here, and I just realized that it has like shorts inside, so that's really nice. And it is a medium. This is loft size large. It's a navy blue dress, and I also thought that this would be great for nursing. Um, yeah, you can see why. <laughs> so these are Catherine size 20, and they're capri length. Um, jeans and they do have an elastic waist. This is motherhood maternity size medium and it's a black lacy, I can't figure it out. Here we go. Racer back. I don't think it's all right here, but that's okay. Uh, just a racer back uh, nursing bra. Okay, this is Victoria's Secret size 34D. And it's a light pink lacy bra that was in pretty good condition. So I decided to get it. I love selling bras because you don't have to list measurements. You just take your pictures and you're done. Okay, and the last three items here are all baby clothes. Um, so this is Jumping Beans, uh, size 18 months, little jacket. We've got a blue and white little striped onesie, three to six months, and Carter's size six month. So we've got lots of onesies already. Okay, that is everything up here. I have a few things downstairs, so let's go see those things. All right, we are downstairs, more awful way. So anything that I can't wash, I keep in a trash bag for quite a while and um, I set it outside on really hot days or really cold days and I make sure they're not like bringing around like carpet and you know like the couch bedding stuff like that because you never know. So first up we have a pair of Lucky Brand little booties 
in pretty great condition. Just a little bit of wrinkling, but not terrible. And the bottoms look pretty good. So size 11s. Um, I don't know this brand, this is 93 Vintage, but it looks like they were being sold for $30. Um, these are, I know I found the size, seven, there we go, size nine. So little booties, size nine, like wedge booties. And of course they're my size and I'll see if I like them. So yeah, some of these things, by the way, are like new attacks and some things are just materials that I didn't want to wash. So this is loft size extra large. Um, this is a little cardigan, um, very stretchy and so, so soft. I want to say this is wool, but it's not, it feels like wool. Oh yeah, this, the, um, somebody cut the materials tag out, but I believe there's wool in this. So I definitely didn't want to, um, dry it at least. So I thought I'd just put it in here. This is Moda International, and I'm not familiar with that brand. Um, this is a size medium, but this is 19% um, wool, 5% mohair, and it's a little wrap um, cardigan sweater, like cropped. Um, so, so cute. This has like this little um, detailing, like beaded detailing along here. And this is very similar. I don't know how well this brand does. I'm sure not as well as, um, I don't actually know how to say it, but Suzanne, 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 Suzanne or something like that. Um, this is like so similar to that brand that I just sold um, a couple weeks ago and I sold it for over $100. Um, so when I saw this, I was like, oh, it's probably not worth quite that much, but um, I have to pick it up. All right, this is faux leather, and it said that I could have washed it, but I was just a little scared it would get ruined. Um, I don't actually know this brand. It looks like it says CB, um, and I tried to look that up, and I couldn't find anything, um, but it's a size large little jacket, like a dark red, I guess like a maroon um, faux leather jacket, and it's in great condition. This is Zara Woman, and this is a size extra small to small. There's the tag, and this is a little like kimono um, cardigan with fringe trim. And look at this detailing. It is like embroidered all over and so, so pretty. So I think that will do well. This is Free People, and I forgot that I even found more Free People. Um, it's a size medium, little multicolored sweater, great condition, stretchy, very oversized, just like all of their stuff. So soft. Um, I don't think this is really anything, maybe this was sold at like a boutique store, um, but I don't even, like, I don't even know what that tag says, but it's a size 3X dress. New tags, long sleeves, plain black. So I'll sell it in a lot for sure. Okay, also have never heard of this brand. This is Thinks. I think it says Thinks. The T H I N X size medium. Um, but they're new with tags leggings. And it doesn't have a price on it, but um, they're just black leggings. And they do have foam pockets on both sides, which I personally love and try to only pick up leggings with um, foam pockets for myself at least. Okay, and last item, oh, just kidding, I have two items, but um, well, second to last item is this little picture frame. I just thought it was cute. Um, it's in good conditions, like four by six. And then last item, is this little baby carrier and I don't, I thought there was a, oh yes, um, Ergo Baby, Ergo Baby is the brand and it's like a cream colored little baby carrier. <laughs> um, and I don't honestly know if all the pieces are here. I need to check it out a little bit better, um, but I was just scared to wash it. Um, so I'm gonna let it sit a little bit longer in the heat um, and then we'll, we'll check it out a little bit better, but 
All right, that is everything. I'm exhausted. <laughs> I feel so tired. My arms are sore. My throat's sore from talking. But that was such a good haul. I mean, I don't know. Per maybe you disagree, but personally, I think it was a great haul. Um, just so many items and yeah, for a dollar twenty-four an item, like what a steal! As always, make sure to let me know what your favorite item was. Um, shoot, what was my favorite item? I don't remember. That's the thing. Like when you get home from the binge, you're like, wait, what did I even pick up? And like just now doing that haul, I like I don't even know. I don't even know what I had in there. Well, if you have a favorite item, let me know what it was. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have a great day. Bye.